Hey everyone, this is Sean. I am super excited. I'm back here with Nima again. And this time I am even more excited because for the first time ever, the world is going to see an unboxing and hands-on video of the Windows Mixed Reality motion controllers. I think they're called Crystal Key. Do you, do you know if that's the case? Nima? I have no idea what the code name <laughs> is. All I know is that uh, when I was talking to different developers, they thought they were just called the Windows Mixed Reality Controllers, uh -huh. but they do show up in the Windows operating system as motion controllers. Okay. So uh, they are their standard game device. They have a, a little gamepad icon next to them, but they are just motion controller left and motion controller right. So that is what they're known as internally in the operating system, but Either way, these are pretty incredible and it's going to be a real treat to be able to see an unboxing of them. Alright, so let's get started then. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to unbox is actually the actual motion controllers themselves. This is super amazing. Just like the Acer that I unboxed, it's got a plain box. Uh, but what you see inside, wow, okay, interesting. So we've got here a Bluetooth adapter, so in case your computer does not have Bluetooth, you won't be screwed. And, woo, wow. So what we have here is two different motion controllers. We've got USB cables to plug the motion controllers into the PC. And I'm gonna pull out this left controller right here, woo. So immediately, this feels super, super light. You know, it's it's kinda got the, it's the same surprise I got when I pulled the Acer out of the box. It's really, really light. Uh, pretty interesting, actually. So the, the uh, Vive and the Rift controllers are much larger than this. Uh, and this is a completely different shape. So let's go ahead and pull out this uh, the right-hand controller as well. Wow, very cool. So uh, what you can't see here is that I believe these actually light up. Is that is that right, Nima? Absolutely. These yeah. uh, these light up when they're when they're turned on when the batteries are plugged in. Wow, very cool. So you can see here there is the thumbstick button. Uh, this is a touchpad which is that's also uh, uh, clickable as well. Uh, we've got the Windows Home button. We've got this menu button over here. Can this actually click? Yeah, this is clickable. That is super cool. And then of course there's the this uh, trigger button. Oh, actually the trigger button's right here and this is just another. So there's actually quite a few buttons uh, on these controllers, which is awesome. It'll give you a lot more flexibility when you're controlling and man manipulating inside of mixed reality. Great, okay, fantastic. So these, uh, from the looks of these batteries, these use standard uh, AA batteries. These are actually rechargeable batteries. These are actually my favorite brand of rechargeable batteries. <laughs> uh, so let's see if we can open these here. Yep. Yeah. So you can place the batteries right inside a, uh, of the motion controllers. Uh, now, Nima, you were saying these uh, uh, covers over here, these are for upgrading the firmware. Is that right? Correct. So I believe they are consi they're called uh, firmware updatable battery blanks. Okay. So they are uh, blanks for what may eventually be a rechargeable battery pack that goes inside of them. Uh -huh. But for now, they just have poco pins and uh, they plug in uh, pretty normally. They're interchangeable even though the battery covers are not. Hmm. And you just plug that in, plug in one of the USB cables, mm -hmm. and then the whole system works. Wow, fantastic, fantastic. This is great. And look at how they just uh, are able to stand up on their own without kind of rolling off the table. <laughs> so that makes it really nice. Easy to put down and easy to pick up. Yeah, so uh, with these, you just put them around your wrist so that you don't lose... Uh, them by letting them fall on the ground and then uh, yeah pretty cool video thank you very much uh, this these are pretty cool uh, so really quick we haven't had a chance to actually try them in the computer yet that's gonna be in the next video 
Uh, there are a lot of little things that you have to watch out for. Number one, I have anti-telemetry software, which didn't let the new Windows Insider build download. And once the Insider build downloads, you have to plug it in using the firmware updating battery blank. And then you plug in the headset, which actually triggers the firmware update. And then once it's all put together, <laughs> then you can actually start working towards making something cool with them. So there's a few steps we got to go through, but That's I'm right. pretty optimistic about these. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, I am. Yeah, definitely. So for today, just an unboxing video. Uh, maybe maybe quick uh, one or two impressions compared to the Vive and the Rift in terms of how they feel. Yeah. Um, so I, I've got to say I like them. They're generally pretty light, even with the uh, chargeable batteries inside of it. It's not terrible as far as the weight goes. I like the joystick, I like the touchpad, of course I need to actually play with them and see how they feel in a title to make it uh, really relevant. Mm -hmm. uh, the button that's in between the two is a little bit harder to hit than any of the face buttons on either the Vive or the Rift, but I don't think it's going to be totally terrible. I love the trigger here. The analog trigger is really, really good. It reminds me a lot of the Oculus Touch trigger. Mm. Um, the grip trigger is not bad either. Uh, it reminds me of the Vive DK1's trigger in a lot of ways, but you can only hit it with one hand and not by like squeezing like you can with the Vive controllers. Mm. The size is pretty good. I think the ergonomics definitely need some work. Uh, as far as I can tell, the ergonomics are probably the worst out of the three. Um, for intense gaming sessions, I know that I like the large size of the Vive because I can grip it really well and do a lot of really precise things. And then the Rift as well with things like uh, grabbing discs in Echo Arena. This, I feel like the way that you hold it, if you're doing things very intensely, will probably slip and it'll probably be pretty hard to get the precision that you'd normally be looking for in intense gaming. Hmm. Um, but for professional applications, drawing, I think this would be perfect. I don't, I don't see any uh, downsides to anything unless you're, you know, moving really fast or trying to like <laughs> shoot bows shoot and arrows or <laughs> shooting, you know. <laughs> Swords, so. maybe. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So uh, ultimately, I am very, very optimistic, especially for the price. Very cool, very cool. So in our next video, we'll actually show it in action. But for now, thank you very much, Nima. And this was our video.